Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to perform a direct analysis in STAD Pro according to the AISC 360-16, Chapter C. Now this section accounts for the second order effects resulting from deformation in the structure due to the applied loading, imperfections, and reduced bending stiffnesses of members due to the presence of axial load. This is a nonlinear iterative analysis as the stiffness of the members is dependent on the forces generated by the loads. During this video, we will show you how to specify the direct analysis parameters, generate your load combinations with notional loads, and specify the perform direct analysis command in order to incorporate all of the different requirements of this procedure. Let's go ahead and turn our attention to a model that's already been created in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler. The first step in our workflow for incorporating the requirements of the direct analysis method is to specify our direct analysis parameters. To start that process, we will select the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar, expand the definitions area, and find our direct analysis definition. Once we do that, let's go ahead and click on the Add button. The first parameter we're going to see is the flex parameter. Now this identifies members whose flexural stiffness is considered to contribute to the lateral stability of the structure, along with the initial value of tau b that should be used. These members will have their EI values factored by 0.8 times that tau factor while performing the global solution. The final member forces and the code check will then be conducted using the 100% of the flexural stiffness of the members. Now in STAD Pro, the perform direct analysis command contains an option to perform an iterative solution. If you want to perform an iterative solution, you're going to select this option and STAD Pro will calculate your tau factor using the yield strength of steel as specified in the material properties that are assigned to each steel member. If this option is not selected, STAD Pro will consider tau to equal the flex parameter, which should then equal 1.0. If you are not performing an iterative solution, you do want to ensure that you specify the appropriate notional load factor for generating your load combinations. Now for this particular model, we're going to go ahead and specify our initial tau factor as 1.0. Later, we are going to instruct STAD Pro to perform an iterative solution for that tau factor. We're going to specify this parameter and click on the Add button. Next, let's take a look at the axial parameter. Now this identifies members whose axial stiffness is considered to contribute to the lateral stability of the structure. These members will have their EA values factored by 0.8 while performing the global solution. The final member forces and code check will be conducted considering 100% of the axial stiffness of each member. For the axial parameter, we'll select this option, click the Add button, and then click Close. Let's now go ahead and expand the direct analysis definition area. Now, as you can see, each of these parameters within the direct analysis definition needs to be manually assigned to the appropriate members in the model. For this particular model, we will go ahead and apply the stiffness reduction factors to all of the members within the model. So I'm going to highlight the flex parameter, click on assign to view, and then click on the Assign button. I'm going to repeat this process for the axial parameter. The next step in our workflow is to generate our load combinations. And we want to go ahead and consider notional loads when generating these load combinations. To start this process, let's go ahead and select the Loading tab in the ribbon toolbar and then select Automatic Combinations and 
auto load combination rules. Now there's a couple things I want to point out in this dialog before we actually generate our load combination. The first area is the select load combination code and category. For this particular model, we're going to be generating load combinations using one of the AISC LRFD load combination generators that are supplied with the program. So here I'm going to go ahead and select the ASCE 716 and select the strength design load combination category. This is an LRFD style load combination generator. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this checkbox to create repeat load cases. A repeat load case in STAD Pro is used to create a primary load case using combinations of previously defined primary load cases. In a repeat load combination, STAD Pro will apply the load cases on the structure simultaneously and then calculate their combined results. When vertical loads and lateral loads are combined, the second order effects caused by the lateral load cases being applied with the vertical load cases will be captured and additional moments may be created. Whenever we're performing a second order analysis, such as a direct analysis, we want to ensure that the create repeat load cases is selected. If you defined any of your loads as reference load cases, you may also consider selecting this option. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at the include notional load checkbox. Now, according to the AISC 360 specification, Chapter C, the initial system imperfections must be considered to calculate the required strength of the lateral steel members. Now, for this exercise, we are going to incorporate those imperfections into the analysis by applying notional loads. Notional loads are a portion of the gravity loads at each level applied horizontally. Now, whenever you are incorporating your notional loads, you're going to want to specify your notional load factor. It's important to coordinate this factor with both the design method that you're using and the method for which you're using to calculate your tau factor. For this particular model, I'm going to go ahead and perform a steel design according to the LRFD method, and I am going to choose to perform an iterative solution for tau. Considering that information, I'm going to review equation C2-1 in the AISC 360 and specify the appropriate factor. Once I'm done, let's go ahead and click on the Generate Loads button, and I can see all of the load combinations that will be generated. After reviewing this list, let's go ahead and click the Add button, and then click Close. The last step within our workflow of performing a direct analysis in STAD Pro is to specify your direct analysis command. To start that process, let's select the analysis page within the workflow page control area and select our analysis commands. Within the analysis and print commands dialog, we're going to ask the pr program to perform a direct analysis. Now whenever you ask STAD Pro to perform a direct analysis, we are automatically going to consider both P large delta and P small delta effects. P large delta effects would be your second order effects induced on a structure due to the movement of its mass under lateral loads. And your P small delta effects are your second order effects caused by the displacement of the member between its bracing points. The next item we'll consider is our design options. We want to make sure we select the design method that is corresponding with our notional load factor we specified, our load combinations we generated, and eventually the design method that we'll be utilizing for the steel design. For this particular model, I am consistently going to select the LRFD method. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my number of iterations. Now it's important to understand that the direct analysis is a nonlinear iterative analysis as the stiffness of the members is dependent on the forces generated by each load. Here I'm going to ask the program to perform 15 iterations. The last thing I'm going to take a look at is the reduce EI and the perform tau B iteration. 
to ensure that your initial system imperfections and the adjustments of stiffnesses are considered in combination with the other information that you specified, we're gonna go ahead and select both of these options. Once we're finished, let's go ahead and click the Add button and then click Close, and we should be able to see our Perform Direct Analysis command has been added at the end of the input file. Now that we've finished our workflow, let's go ahead and review some of the ways we incorporated the requirements for the AISC 360 Direct Analysis method. The first section we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is C2.1. In STAD Pro, we specify the Perform Direct Analysis command. Now this command automatically incorporates both P large delta and P small delta effects. We also ensured that the second order effects are captured when we generated our load combinations as repeat loads. The next section we'll take a look at is section C2.2. Now for this model, we considered the initial system imperfections by using notional loads. We already generated our load combinations considering the appropriate notional load factors, considering the LRFD design method and the iterative solution for that tau B factor. The last section we're gonna take a look at is C2.3. Now for this model, we instructed the program to determine the required strength of components using the reduced stiffness parameters for axial and flexural strength through the direct analysis load definition. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and perform our analysis. Before we do that, go ahead and save your model. Then go to the Analysis and Design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the Run Analysis icon. After the analysis is performed, the first thing you're going to do is take a look in this dialog to see if you had any errors or warnings. If you do have any errors or warnings, you will want to proceed to the output file to review that information before reviewing the rest of your results. For this particular model, I don't have any errors or warnings, so I'm ready to review my results, which I'm going to view in the output file. Once in the output file, I can go ahead and scroll on down until the point where the analysis is taking place. Here I can see that a direct analysis for each load case has been conducted, and I'll be able to see that my tau Bs have converged for that particular load case. You will receive a warning if any of your factors do not converge. Once we're done reviewing our output file, we can go ahead and close the output viewer and return to our model. Now this completes the process for incorporating the direct analysis method as described in the AISC 360 Chapter C into the Analytical Modeler in STAD Pro. During this video, you learned how to specify your direct analysis parameters, generate your load combinations with notional loads, and specify the Perform Direct Analysis command. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.